This is Lockie Hume, and you're listening to The Crowject. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of the Crowject Podcast. My name is Damon, rejoining you after a slight hiatus. And around the table, we've got a... Thank you, Pete. <laughs> You're a pistol Pete from now on, mate. You're a bit fast on the trigger. Um, we've, got, we've got a couple of guests and we've got a couple of old faces and old friends, but everyone's friends when the Crows play like they do on the weekend, even <laughs> though they don't quite get up. Thank you very much, Twitter trolls. To my, <laughs> to my right... We've got the three-striped adorned Peter. How are you, mate? Mm, I thought you were going to say three-striped Adonis. I nearly did. <laughs> He's actually to my right. I, oh, hey, there it is. The we, real three-striped Adonis, Mr. Benny Mack. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well, mate. Good to see you. And we've got James from the Jimmy podcast. <laughs> Jimmy's footy podcast. Jimmy's yeah. footy podcast. Yeah. Thank you. JFP. JFP. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a horrible moment where where I'm like, how badly have I stuffed that up? <laughs> <laughs> or you can just follow me on TikTok at James Dalton 5 There you go. There you go. <laughs> Do your own plugs from now on. <laughs> Great to have you. Good to see you rocking the Crombini too. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah, Thanks mate. for having me, mate. And to my left is a man that I've had a, a bit of a history with. We both started our media career together, sitting yeah. at the same table, learning from one of the doyens of the South Australian media industry and the great man, Sean Craig Murphy. The Godfather. We, the Godfather. We did. We've seen that. The disco bald Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me. He taught me week three of radio school is uh, actually to come on your favourite sports team podcast with a really obscure <laughs> reference to... Three times and have a really obscure player that you want to push hard into the team. <laughs> so I've got one for you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Look, before you do that, let's actually introduce you. Yeah. Razor Ray, who you may know from uh, many, many engagements with the project. Uh, you, you're one of the first ones to lock on to the, um, what's the thing where you're Tell running me. up? Tell me. <laughs> um, you might also hear him on the advertiser website calling the netball. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a massive Garville fan, get around it. Uh, not if you're a Newton Jags fan, stay away. Oh, and you probably don't want to be a Garville fan at the moment either, the moment. by the way. No, wrong end of the <laughs> table. Stars. For that. Yeah. Up the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Any deep cut netball references from you two boys? Not nah, moving uh, right along. I'm just yeah. a huge fan of Sharon Streslecki. <laughs> Here if you need. <laughs> yeah. if you need. Tango was the right answer, boys. Tango. Yeah. Um, and from the SANFL, uh, what are you commentating at the moment, mate? Are you still doing the juniors? Or? Yeah, I've been eight, under 18s for the last five or six weeks. So, cool. yeah. Wayne Wiedemann's taken all the SANFL spots. So, no, the league games. So, no chance up there. We're going to ask you for a Wiedemann anecdote by the end of the episode. Oh, I don't have one. Actually, I do have one because Listen he to the tease. coached <laughs> my um, my junior club. He coached the It's not much of a tease when he says it straight away. <laughs> we didn't get up to that bit. It was the obscure oh, oh, player reference at radio school and then yep. didn't get to teasing. So, uh -huh. yeah, Wayne Wiedemann <laughs> used to coach at my junior club, but Ooh. that's about all I've got on him. He used to scare yep. me as a kid because he was so big and scary. It's the mullet. Yeah, it's mm. the moulet. It's the moulet in facial hair that does it. On a windy day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so shout Shall out to our sponsors, Payment SA, Trojan Aluminium and Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini's. There really should be an S on the end, <laughs> although Panini is uh, plural. Thank you to James McCann for pointing that one out. Uh, we had a game on the weekend. Oh, do we have to talk about this one, Betty Mac? Uh, well, it was a shit start, really. Yeah. I can't put it any <laughs> any different. Uh, <laughs> do you think it was daylight, so, like Eastern Daylight Time that yep. got us? The only yep. explanation. Yep. I just think it was it's jet lag. Yeah, jet yeah. lag. Mm. So our bags were delayed and so were our brains. <laughs> <laughs> we left our footy boots in the carousel. You know, the carousel where you get your luggage. We left our footy boots. Oh, they're lucky they even got on there. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to keep painting this joke or just like, should I just drop it now? Yes, please. I'll just drop it. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsors, pay me today. <laughs> <laughs> so we had, uh, we lost by 33 points. You know, we Benny Mac. We did. Yeah. So Sydney had a nine goal opening quarter and just blew us out of the Water and ended the game really at quarter. We time. heard a lot about that, didn't we, James? Yeah. We heard a lot at that start. first quarter. Yeah. So it was a good three quarter effort. It was, it was. <laughs> uh, what did we hear more about? The nine goal first quarter or Buddy apparently closing in on a tackle record after five minutes uh, after having four tackles and also ending the game on four tackles as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is why you put 
the TV on mute when you are watching those games, that's for sure. Who were the commentators in here? I'll listen to this uh, one on radio. Wayne. Brad Johnson. Wayne was there. Oh, glad I was I know that he was there because I heard something that he called Isaac Kenny and I reckon we might be able to get him fired. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Yeah. He right. said... Yeah. We'll beep it out. He said, oh, oh, I can't believe Haney didn't get a free kick there. He was off the ball getting, being retarded. <laughs> oh. There's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Dwayne, fine. the skim milk went to your head, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne's going to have a lot of time to guzzle milk in the future, I think. <laughs> yeah. So wow. maybe we can rally. <laughs> I think I, obviously meant in the sense that he was being held, but yeah, we've got to run yes. with it in this sense if it means getting Dwayne off the commentary forever. <laughs> that's it. That's a win for everyone. The uh, the actual definition of that word, you're completely correct. <laughs> mm. But no, that's not what we're about. Exactly. You know, we can take it like that, Dwayne. We can no. just snip that little bit of audio. <laughs> that can make the rounds. <laughs> Mm. I love it. No context. That's no. the internet. <laughs> oh, that's that's got to be a Twitter page. No, no context. Wayne Russell. That'd be amazing. In fact, that's what that's, I'm doing. That's not bad. That's what I'm doing as soon as I can. <laughs> home, I think. No Abs- context. Fox Footy. <laughs> that's that is absolutely just brilliant. random <laughs> still images. Yeah. See, I've always had the idea of a no context early '90s Channel Seven broadcast. I know it's a long name, <laughs> yeah. but in the early '90s they we used to have. Punch, yeah. yeah, but they. Yeah, we, we, we can <laughs> we'll, we can we'll workshop it. Yeah. yeah, we'll put it up on we we'll put it up on the hoist. Yeah. We'll fiddle around with it a little bit. But with this one, they always used to cut to random people in the crowd. Mm. But it would be random people that clearly did not want to be on camera. <laughs> yep. And all I remember, there was a lady, it was the 93 game, Crows versus Kangaroos, and I'm sure Leighton's listening, he's going to find this, of this poor lady who's clearly went shopping at Dave and Jones the day before. Like, she's dressed to the nines. Like, she's wearing a fur coat. Like, she looks like, could be Corella DeVille. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. But the camera goes to her, and it's just a complete boxed in, like it's her front on and she looks at the camera, looks away, yeah. looks back at the camera and like rolls her eyes and looks away again. But it's like <laughs> this like, I shouldn't be here. Oh, Please yeah. leave me that alone. That Love needs that. to be on no context. Early 90s, 740. you got to make that happen now. Yeah. we got to make that happen now. We, we have gone well off track. <laughs> <laughs> how, long, how long are we in? Five if you've got a better title for that, let us know urgently. <laughs> now, selections, nothing changed there, didn't it, Ray? No, nothing changed. Stick with. Yeah, Which stick I with the uh, five-point losing formula. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it turned out to be thirty-three, so yeah. mm. thirty-eight altogether. Yeah, might be some changes this yeah, week. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when they say winning form, you don't change your team. I think <laughs> uh, the closest the Crows get now is honourable losses. So yeah. we're on a point of honourable loss. Keep the team as it is. Any loss under a goal is a win. Let's be real. Let's be real. When you're going at the line. Yeah. Yeah, the line. We're yeah. talking about the line. <laughs> it's, um, it's about the small wins here. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Ben, your thoughts on one Rory Laird? I'll tell you what, he was good, wasn't he? He was. Yeah, uh, I think it was all right. He played a very good game. What did he have in the end? Uh, 38. 38 disposals, 14 inside 50s, 11 clearances. Uh, 28 kicks and only 10 handballs. The anti Matt Crouch so, <laughs> <laughs> had a good game. They, 848 meters gained. Only had six tackles after coming off a 20 the week before. Bit of, just a quiet day out. That's him. it. Just a lazy one for him. But 14 inside 50s. Just a bit average. Yeah. yeah. I think he can lift. Do we think he's got the gold <laughs> jacket sewn up? Uh, yeah. Dawson. I me. think he does. Who, I, who else well, do you give it to? Dawson, Dawson yeah. maybe Keys might be a bit of an outside smoky. Yeah. I think um, when it comes to consistency, you have to think of Laird, though. And I think over the last couple of weeks, he's he's netted nine votes in the last three games. Yeah. No, surely. Doubt. I yeah, mean, no doubt. look, Jordan Dawson had the right to not have a good game because mm. he was shitting his guts out <laughs> the first few days of last week. <laughs> yeah. And he still he had a decent game still. He copped a tag, had 20 touches, kicked a goal, could have had a second one at the end of the third quarter there. Imagine being the tag behind him and he's just farting his way through the field. <laughs> that's, how he, that's how he broke it after the first <laughs> quarter. <laughs> Ryan Clark didn't want to go anywhere near him. <laughs> Mate, you can follow me all you want. <laughs> yeah. I do, I do have to say that I reckon if uh, Jake Salee goes buying a house in Adelaide in the next couple of years, clear a corner of that house for gold jackets because yep. mm. he's yep. going to have some. Mm. Yep. That kid he's is spe- so good. He is special. He's special. Yeah, absolutely. He's absolutely special. Yep. Love him. Parnell, I thought, had a good game, a quieter game for him, but he's, he's still that sort of – you know he's going to be a good player because he doesn't need to get the ball much to do good things. Yeah, and he, he had a tough game. He's playing on mm. the likes of Heaney and yep. Papley and a few pretty good small forwards. So, yeah. But he's still got that game. Just little things, you know, the, the right handball at the right time and you go, no, nah, kid, kid's going to go all right. I like that he tries to make stuff happen. Yep. 
Like it's proactive. Been a, yeah, there's been a couple of times when we were getting thrashed by Hawthorne, there's a couple of times where he just gave a hand pass, took mm. off, got the ball back and just tried something. Yeah. It probably yeah. didn't come off, but at least he's getting the ball and zipping through the middle trying to create something, overlap something. Unlike concrete boots crouch. Yeah. <laughs> just need that explosiveness, really. Mm. It's just sometimes there's just absolutely nothing coming I mean, out. I, Barry is slowly becoming that bloke. He's mm. becoming my favourite player. Yep. Mm. I think he's our second best midfielder at the moment. I think he's past keys. I think the stats would Ooh. would back that up. Mm. Actually, yeah, that's a that's tough. That's he's, a big call. He's far more effective coming out of the middle. And you look at his third quarter. He was trying to drag us back in. He got like three yep. or four clearances in a row. Mm. A couple of goals. I love the kid. Yep. If he, he look- can hit the con- the scoreboard consistently, he takes himself to a whole nother level. Yeah. Yep. And us to a whole nother level. You look at the size of him. He's got that young Mark Rusciuto build. He's, you know, we talk about Fogarty's legs, but Barry's got the hips and the ass, and he's got the, the um, shoulders to be able to do it. Don't look at me like that. You know exactly <laughs> what I mean. He's got the power of running through his glutes and his hamstring. Why didn't you just say of? that? He's got the ass and <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> because apart from this description, it was quicker. <laughs> Who else do you think's hot? (laughs) (laughs) Give us the scoop. Give us the scoop. (laughs) So on that, we are going to be having a Project After Dark episode that is coming soon. So Elodie and uh, Kristen, who listens in to the pod as well on Insta, me and Kristen had a long chat on, I think it was Saturday afternoon or Saturday. I was drunk. Um, But basically it was just talking, rating all the different players and uh, yeah, that's going to be a Patreon special. It's going to be R18 as well. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Could you imagine the other way around? That would make the internet blow up. What's that? The AFLW. Ooh. <laughs> that wouldn't happen, would it? Ixnay Ray. No, Ixnay on the AFLW way. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we need to talk about one Nettie McHenry. Mm. Uh, there was a bit of feedback online about him, wasn't there, Ben? There, there was a bit of feedback. and I feel Any like of it constructive? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> when's it ever constructive? Good point. With Christ, when's Our it ever constructive? No, it's, it's all or nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I, f- I feel bad for him because there were a couple of moments where he made some stupid mistakes yeah. where if, you know, he doesn't slip in the goal square, he kicks the goal, he doesn't get caught holding the ball in the middle of the wing as we're going forward. He looks a lot better, but... He did slip and he did get caught holding the ball. So <laughs> he had a bit of a stinker, did old Ned. But I, I still love his guts and the way he goes about it. Mm. I just think Ned McHenry is like a Jack Russell. He yes. is. Like he's fine to have it at your grandma's house. Mm. Pet him all you want. But like you're not taking him to Cambridge to the dog show, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's a good like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's next here at Crufts. <laughs> we have the Jack Russell, commonly known as Ned McHenry. Oh, and look at him bound into the you crowd. Don't have the, like, he's not <laughs> he's the followed the tennis Dawson. ball out the front door and he's down the major highway. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the purebred Dawson, is he? Like, no. He's a great 24, 25, 26 on your list, I reckon. Yep. But I think where people get upset is that he was drafted at what, pick 14? Yeah. You know, that, yeah. that year when we had yeah. the two first round picks. I still think he's going to come good. I think every problem he has is is workable. Yep. But what he has that you can't teach is that tenacity and that that endurance. I mean, people forget that, yeah, he's making mistakes, but he's making mistakes from the first bounce to the last bounce. That kid <laughs> he's got guts. He doesn't stop running. <laughs> he's got guts. That's what it is. Yeah. He fucks up, but he never stops. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we love about him. <laughs> Man, if we're going to suck, let's suck all the way to the That's end. It. Well, we keep asking for four quarter efforts. He's giving four quarter efforts <laughs> every single week. You That's know, it. you know what you get with him. You yes. know what you get with him every single week. How much time on ground did he have? We got, we got to check that. Good question, McHenry. Like yeah. when he slipped yeah. over, or yeah, <laughs> 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 he had eighty percent time on ground. Literally, <laughs> head head right in the SCG, right right into the pitch as yeah. well. Unreal. Is that a bail in your eye, Ned? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, love it. Can I um Hello. I'm gonna I'm gonna change tack here and talk about Phil Thorpe for a bit. Yes. Can I yes. we don't have the theme tune for it, but can I insert my segment Damon Dotes? Doning Damon? Yes. yes. Good. You just pushed a button and looked at me. I just pressed the odd. flag button and so I'll make something up later. You're worried I'm gonna Okay. Um Yeah. <laughs> no one's so the the way this segment works, I've only ever done it once and then I missed a few weeks. Basically, I bring up a player and then none of you are allowed to bag him for three weeks. 
All right. I'm fine with that. He's protected yeah. species from now on. You're not allowed to say a thing because he's my boy all of a sudden. All right. He's my man and I will not hear a bad thing about my boy. And right now he's filthy. That's not stopping the listeners writing in. So please <laughs> write in and bag him if you yep. if you want. But bag none of us Peter here on the segment. Is for the typing <laughs> <in the movie>. <laughs> 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 yeah, Peter spelt with a Y. <laughs> you know, no one of you is allowed to say anything bad about filthy. I've been completely wrong about this kid. I've said a few times I don't see him as a genuine second ruck option. Uh, mainly out of fear of him, you know, getting some Sean Wren level knee injury and costing us, you know, seasons of his development. I, I'm so wrong. He looks so good in the ruck. He, some of his tap work on Sunday was elite. Finding blokes behind him. He was working all points of the compass. Runs all day. His stats don't reflect it. His stats are pretty low. Only... Uh, four kicks, seven disposals in the end. How old Two is marks. He? But he had eight, 19. Had eight hit outs um, and he was really only pinch hitting in the ruck. You know, and he broke even for the rest of that sort of time too. He had also had three inside 50s and four clearances on his own. Yeah. Oh, so Looking at his stats, I thought he played in the middle more. He only had three centre bounce attendants. I think it was, it was very deceptive, yeah. But the time he did spend in there... Um, well, I think was a window into the future. Yeah. It's, it's a glimmer on what this guy can bring. Shame he didn't quite put it together at the other end in you know full forward, but them's the breaks. And I just keep see him seeing him ticking boxes and developing. So mm. not a bad word about filthy. He can have an absolute stinker next week, and you've all got to keep your mouth shut. So he's meeting his key performance indicators. I think so. Okay. Yeah. He's meeting my targets at least. Yeah, we have a very low bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Sorry, Ray, you were going to say something. Oh no, I just think I. We've got an academy player that I think me and Damon will talk about soon Mm -hmm. um, that's coming through that I reckon in years to come will create a massive one-two punch with Silthorpe. The tandem that we have with these two. Yeah, these two going forward 10 years could be... An absolute dominant It's Keylor. Duo. Isaac Keylor. Oh, oh, yeah. About. Isaac Sorry, Ray, Keylor but, from yeah. uh, I was North about Adelaide. to say, listening to our Patreon about <laughs> Crash like, he just spilled the beans. I'll tell you about him later. But Ooh. Save that Isaac Keylor, yeah, academy pick from North Adelaide. He's – those two in 10 years could yep. be – Something real special mm, mm. if we manage to get him. But that's a that's a chat for another day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Patreon.com forward slash project. Yes. All right. Shall we get to some of the feedback by the listeners? Now, uh, Benny Mac, uh, you're able to bring up uh, – well, do you want Facebook or Twitter? You can have both. Oh, get Facebook up. Okay. So I'll go to Instagram stories. So uh, we had Alex who wrote in and says, all I know is I want 2017 back more than ever. Amen. Now, I said to her up until the first goal of the grand yeah, final. I was going to say, do they know how that story ends? Because yeah. I don't want to watch that movie again. Yeah. Yeah. Give me two quarter time at least. We're in front. Yeah, mm. true. Uh, Hamo underscore Numo says, another three quarter effort. <laughs> Which I, I just love that. That's going to be a title of pod, another is three quarter it, As effort. you said, is there any constructive feedback on that? <laughs> yeah. <is> just told. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got James. No, there's not. We've got James <laughs> Hamill who says, fuck that first quarter. Here we go. <laughs> But we go the opposite way. Uh, Riley Jono says, happy with the performance after quarter time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. We there had, you go. Yeah, we had about that's four that's people write in say, get Tariq Newchurch in the side. He Good had shout. four disposals on yeah. the weekend. And uh, we got uh, Kirsten KWX who says, Roy Led is hot and I notice it more and more every week. Well, <laughs> Kirsten, you can tell us more on, on our Patreon exclusive. Uh, Salty Crom Fan 29 says, not mad about it, to be honest. Just some decision errors and skill errors. But other than that, I'm happy. So that's every week for us. Uh, Jim McArdle says, Jake Saligo. Mm. All that needs to be said, really. Mm. Uh, Lucky Dan says, fuck. F-A-K. <laughs> Friend of the bottom and Patreon. Uh, we got Crayfish. This might be Ned McHenry. Who knows? Led to serve the brown load, but won't get it because we didn't win enough games. Sad face. Yeah. And, uh, That's a fair shout. And Dante Cicciello says, Nick Murray shaping up real nice. Lib him. I think he means love really? him. Mm. Like seven, five, seven kicks, eight handballs. So that's 15 disposals for those of you playing at home. One mark, which is a bit disappointing. Mm. Um, one buddy in the pocket. One buddy in the pocket. Seven rebound 50s. That's uh, the sort of se- that's the sort of yeah. thing we want to start. I just think mm. he was so uncomposed with mm. the footy, I thought. There were so many times that he hand-passed just to someone in the worst spot yeah, and then they get the, the free kick again. You know you know why he was doing that? Because he got told during the week, stop concussing our players. <laughs> that's right. So he's just like, well, <laughs> if I handball it to them in a risky situation, maybe they'll get concussed by the, someone well, else. The opposition's going to concuss them. Yeah. Fogarty did try concuss 
yeah, ramping didn't... until next week. Like he would have been oh, out. Like... He was full blown rampage. <laughs> if he had connected, oh my gosh, Foggy's Foggy's out for the rest of the season. Oh, definitely, because it was and it wouldn't have been intentional. I don't think. I think he just had to run a steam up. But Jesus, he he has a John Deere to work on. Down, yeah. loosened down. <laughs> He's like, fucking, I might as well take it off. And the first, last one, and I needed to. I need to go off about this. Marcus Depizol says sack Knicks. No. Oh, yeah. no. Now, we're no at the way. bottom of our cycle. Yep. We are at the bottom. The only way is up. Listen to Yaz. The only way is up. That's where we're going <laughs> from here. We cannot sack Knicks because if we do, we're going to be in the same position as North Melbourne. Yep. It's, it's They got rid of David Noble. Yep. It's unreal. No future. Yeah. Absolutely not for you. And now they're begging for a bonus draft pick, which is going to put us further back in our yeah. development because they'll bloody get it. Yeah. Now, I reckon Jordan may be taking the piss, mm. right? Mm. He's a good listener. But mm. at the same time, there have been that many people. There, there was some top fan on Facebook, clearly some Beryl and or Cecil, who said, <laughs> when is Nick's going to get sacked? Never. When? <laughs> they're a top fan of the club. So they're engaging actively with the social media page, yet at the same time, they're wanting him fired. It's yeah. this culture that the Ugh. Crows have kind of made for themselves in some small way because I keep, I keep hearing this stat about that Nick's is the longest serving coach that hasn't played finals. How long has it been? What, three years? Three, three years. years. That's, 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 that's nothing. True. That's nothing in a rebuild. That's the sh- Go, Gold that's Coast of Haddon stat. More. Way more. Stewie Jew's coach longer than three years. There you okay. go. So, <laughs> like, a bit of patience for God's sake, guys. You know, but we're looking back to the days where we sacked Corns after 93. We're looking at the Messiah coming in for two years and then leaving after the third. We don't talk about the Shaw era. You know, it, we're looking at all these relatively short-term coaches. We haven't been through the wilderness like this no. before. And there's a lot of scary, unfamiliar mm. feelings that come with it. And part of it is you can't jump the gun because you're right. North Melbourne are now further behind in their development, much further behind mm. because now they've got to learn someone else's brand new system. Yeah, well, yeah. they don't even have list managers at North no. Melbourne. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I, I, I was shocked when they sacked them. I could not believe it. Yeah. Like, what are they thinking? Disastrous. It really is. And it's the. I actually watched that documentary that they did a few years ago about how they didn't go to the Gold Coast. And everyone in it's so triumphant and they're going, we're going to be a well run club from now on. And I'm like, Oops. I mean, no. Actually, Where's the curb like, music? Yeah, you're <laughs> worse off now than you were when the AFL was saying, please, Jesus, go to the Gold Coast. They are worse off and now. James Brayshaw had him going all right for a yep. bit. Then he stepped down and everyone went, oh, right, well. No, we don't know how <laughs> this club. The yeah. thing is, it could go from bad to worse as well because Horn Francis as well. That is one to talk about. Uh, that well. comes to Papa. Yes. yes. No, I don't want him. No? Okay. No, really? I reckon he'd be Stay playing away, ammos. Dog. I reckon he'd be playing ammos in about eight years. No I reckon way. his attitude is that bad that it'll take someone really strong to, to whip that into shape. You reckon Maddie Nicks? Maybe. Slap him around a little bit. Be cool. Therapeutically. Mm. It's that is cool. a massive call. He's a gun player, great yeah. player, but I just think his attitude will let him down. But is his attitude just like a – has someone got in his ear and said, mate, if you have a, a soul con, they'll have to trade you? Is it a ploy? Yeah, is he the got attitude, oh, fuck, I'm at North. <laughs> <laughs> Fair attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The question is, what do, you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you give up for him? Too much. Yeah, I know. You, Matt Cratch, straight swap. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Thank you. They'd take Start that the too. Start they the would take that as well. Idiots. <laughs> Which is right. Matt but. Crouch and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's this one. There we go. There it is. Do you know what? They both work. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Crouch and uh, Ned will take your fishing for the day. Yes, that's it. Get you in. No, it, it Here's was... the concrete shoes you need to wear as well. If you don't sign. <laughs> in all seriousness, it would cost the Crows our first round pick, probably a, a second round pick and a player at least. And that's what gets you to the table. I, I don't see us giving up our first round pick at all. No. There's too much midfield no. talent down that end of the draft. Mm-hmm. Too many good kids. Port Adelaide will find a way. They will manufacture a way because they've done it before. Yeah. They, they will manufacture a way to get rid of some huge talent to get him through the door and it will cost them the future. But I've, I think if he's coming anywhere to Adelaide, it'll be to Port and it'll mm. be the biggest godfather off you've ever seen. Yep. And then he has to win them a flag. So Sean Which Craig one? Murphy's going to do the deal? <laughs> <laughs> To get him involved. He got Paddy Parmel picked. He can do it. <laughs> that man, that man runs Adelaide. You just got to ask him. <laughs> now, Benny Mac, uh, who else we got on the socials, my man? We have got <clears throat> Sophie Damon, friend and Patreon of this show, who says it's a shame that we had such a shitty first quarter. Sydney are a quality team, so that's to be expected. Barry and Saligo continue to be exciting in the middle. The old us years ago wouldn't have been able to fight back that quarter time deficit. Small positives that many will brush off. I agree. 
Yep. We have got Dave Carnavale who says pretty much, pretty much sums everything up and we made a complete mess of some setups right in front of goal two. Thanks, Ned. Uh, work in <laughs> progress. And then we had one more down here that could be a barrel on Cecil, but they end on a positive, so I'll let them off on this occasion. <clears throat> Ryan says, we need to make a big play for Grundy. Oh, oh he's gettable. Oh. He's very he's, gettable, he, but he's I... He's also 29. Yeah. Well, let he, me finish the comment, but I think we've all got thoughts. Yeah, so Ryan says that Rob just doesn't cut it anymore. Also hard to be positive after a long season, but mm. can we appreciate how good Berry and Saligo oh. are coming along? Do you know, Rob looked... He had 51 hitouts on Saturday, oh. but the amount of times that people hand pass to him with his back to yep. the... Oh my it takes Jesus him three Christ. weeks to get the ball from his hand to yep. foot. Like, don't yep. give it to him in he, a hot situation. He is the Manum Ferry. You've got to let him pull up and dock before you put your car on, <laughs> for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Manum Ferry. <laughs> That's an obscure reference. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Proud of that one. <laughs> um, also, sorry. You, just you get one a year, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's my record. The Grundy thing, he doesn't suit any sort of list need is the thing. No. Because if no. you're bringing in an older Ruckman, you want him – firstly, you only do that if you're about to play finals, if he's the yeah, missing piece. Yep. He's not. He would cost us – the only thing is, though, apparently Collingwood are looking for a bit of a salary dump. So if we did him, again, like yeah. we might yeah. get him for, for nothing. They pay half his salary. But – Again, Port Adelaide, somehow, even though all they've done for the last four or five years is bring in Ruckman, I mean, they've probably, got Ruck issues again. So yeah. he's probably the one – they'll probably end up at Port playing for 150 he, grand a year. I just feel like he doesn't suit where we're going. No. no he, he's he ready to win now. Yep. We're looking five, ten years. Yeah, we, don't need a, we don't need a Ruck, geez. No. No. <laughs> no. If anything, <laughs> we need an, an 18 or 19-year-old Ruckman that can develop under Rob, under Phil Thorpe. He needs a basketball and, background. That'd be good. It's called Pendlebury. Uh, yeah. Does, does Keylor have a basketball background? I don't think he I'm does. sure he does. He Probably. looks like he would. He held one once. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I'm, you know, I'm going to, like, I've got a three-year-old son. What I've actually started doing is I've taken photos with him with a basketball. <laughs> so he's got a basketball background. <laughs> yeah. I've also... A lacrosse stick. <laughs> I've also taken a photo in every single club Guernsey. Mm. So when he, if he gets drafted, <laughs> oh that's brilliant. brilliant. That is this brilliant. is a team he supported all the way growing up. Yep. and then it's died money. Died in the wool Tasmanian <laughs> fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah he exactly. saw he saw his favourite player on the TV. He's like, yeah, that's who I'm going to support. Yep. You, got, you got the wool on top for university or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he loved him back in World War One. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we got Cody Fry who actually sent us a message over on Facebook as well. So you can send it into our uh, Facebook page. Uh, so we got Cody who had a few thoughts. Yeah, my thoughts on the game, well, I was pretty damn impressed. Um, I was pretty proud of the boys, especially after that first quarter. Uh, after quarter time, I think we won the game. Um, with dominating patches, nearly stole it at the end there. Yes, it does suck um, starting starting like that and having that first quarter, but that's going to happen with the young side. 12 players under 50 games in the second time we've gone in unchanged all year. You can't expect mm -hmm. a four-quarter effort. But in saying that, when that four-quarter effort does come in a year or two, we're going to be a pretty bloody dangerous side. And building mm -hmm. that building that con continuity, that's a bloody tough word, building that <laughs> consistency together, especially in the middle, um, Lady and Berry are starting to build a bloody good team. Um, their clearance work out the middle, Berry and close, Laird getting the clearances was awesome. Saligo's an absolute fucking gun. And I was really impressed with Fogarty. Gun. He didn't have a, an amazing game stats-wise. Um, I don't think I haven't looked at stats, but just watching it. Um, and just him bringing the ball to ground every contest. That's all you bloody ask of a forward. If you can't have we a need him on the pod on the scoreboard, bring the ball to ground. And in games gone by, years gone by, I think he goes missing. Um, but it just shows. I feel like he's that's a turning point in his career. And I was really impressed with his yeah with his with his pressure in the contest and bringing the ball to ground. That was my thoughts. Um, up the crows. He gets it. <laughs> no, that's it for the Crojack. Yeah. That, that's not a true Crows fan. Far too reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Far too reasonable. It's got to be some sort of catch here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, he's already microwaved his membership three weeks ago. <laughs> Did we miss ten seconds of that voice mail? Where he we missed no fantasy. <laughs> I think we missed ten seconds of the video, just where he just you know had to say something at the end that didn't make sense. That's it. No, nah, good. I, I got to say, I really agree with him on the Fogarty call as well. Mm. He's absolutely right. In games gone by, he would have just gone completely missing. Yep. Um, and that is the making of him because the the problem with him has been that he's either on kicking five against West Coast mm. or for five games he's doing nothing. Whereas for the last – you okay, Pete? 
No. Pete's just having a crisis at the other end of the table, Continue. dropping everything. Yeah, it was 10 cents. Um, he's, but, yeah, no, he, we need him to be able to play bit parts in games that aren't going well. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sold on Fogarty. Oh, okay. Not sold on him. Oh, he, he's, he's not for sale. No. <laughs> he, he, he shows up for maybe one or two games a year. He's – look, I'm sure he's a great guy, but I just don't think he's there. I just don't think he's there. He's he shows, Yeah, he shows up for one or two games a year and they're not against quality opposition, so – no, not a, not a fan. Not sold on him yet. Look, fair. I hope he puts together more performances like this that change your mind. Yeah, he, I hope so too. I hope mm. he proves me wrong. I hope he goes out and kicks six next week. Mm. You know, mm. and built someone into fucking twenty twenty four. Exactly right. But I, I'm just I'm just not sold on him yet. How how long's he been in the system? He's been in the system. He gives a shit. Where's fucking love him. Fifty three games now or something. Yeah, yeah. it's we, taken a long time to get to fifty three games. I have more confidence in him in a contest to either yeah. win it or at least half it, where I would yep. have 10 games ago thought mm. he's going to get outmarked yep. or pushed off the ball too easy or run His the wrong work spot. rate has increased. And say it. Say the line. What's led to it? I don't know. You're leaving me hanging here. No, I don't know. It's, it's the Burgess effect. Burgess, Burgess effect. It is the Burgess Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I hope Burgess has a butterfly tattoo so then we could call it the butterfly effect. <laughs> 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 Fuck. I'll watch that movie. <laughs> okay. So glad we got Everything you Everything yeah. is the Burgess effect, okay? <laughs> Ramping up hospitals, Burgess effect. <laughs> Just saying. Even though I was here before. All right. Uh, did we do Twitter as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. That was Twitter. Okay. Uh, so are we on track, boys? I think uh, finals are over for this year. Oh, I think so. finals are over. But this week in both games, because I watched half of the Sandfield game before I had to turn that off because, well, gosh, Gosh. <laughs> Just didn't um, want to. I've got real questions about our defence. Yep. Our defence. Mm. i seen uh, a stat last night that uh, Jordan Dawson's top five for the reverse Coleman at the moment for goals against him. Yeah. He's conceded <laughs> nearly 40 goals. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to win something. <laughs> <laughs> He's conceded nearly 40 goals. Mm. Cam Murray doesn't really look composed with the ball. And then who have we got in the sandful? Borlace. Frampton. Who's <laughs> Frampton. 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 Yeah, it's Frampton. worrying. We've got Michael Annie coming in as a father's son, but he... Is a you, short... Yeah. Was, yeah Mac- he's more of a do-day type than he is a, a butts. Yeah, I would say even more Hamill. Yep. He's more of that user off half-back. Yep. But I just... Our key backs, we got real problems. Agreed. Yep. And the, I think the the... Danger there is that hopefully no one's been looking over the list and going, Fisher Mackesy will, like rocking back and forth, Fisher Mackesy will come good. Fisher Mackesy will come good. He has not come good. And if he does play good, he's playing up forward now. And I think that's probably the big hole in the in the list mm. at the moment. Mm. When do you pull the pin on Fisher Mackesy? <laughs> Last End week. End of the year. Yeah. Mm. End of the year. Three years ago. Long enough for a key, key position, I think. I, I, is- but he's shown nothing there's been no glimmer no. and part of that like i feel bad for him because it's been covid interrupted start to his career it's been injury interrupted start to the year mm. uh, to his career he's been forward and back trying to develop at at, at either like wh- which one are you gonna catch your eye in mate mm. and at some point it just has to i think it's just going to come down to him going i need a fresh Environment. I need a new mm-hmm. start, and then we'll get nothing for. Hello, him. Arden Street. Hey. <laughs> you got to s- laugh, but uh, yeah, oh, shit. you got to say like this as well. He's not. He's not, not, not an Adelaide boy. No, and mm. he's away from his family. Mm-hmm. Is he he's a living- popular member of the team? I don't see I, him he's on been, socials. With he's him. been doing a fair bit of media stuff recently. Like I have seen him popping up on a few different bits and pieces, but. I don't know. I, I almost get the brief where they've just told him, like, keep your head down, work on your footy, recover, don't stress. Like, we're going to shield you. The other thing too, though, is, and I found this out from Sensible Crow when I was in his pod, he's on a huge contract. He is on big, big money for a guy that's not played a senior game. And that's partly because of the contract extension he signed. They basically just front-end loaded it. So it's a, a bit of a concern that there's going to be Barry, Saligo, Parnell, Schoenberg asking for big money soon. And this guy's not even kicked a ball in anger. Mm. Well, that's another indicator that he may be on the move. I think so. Because the bigger the contract, the, it's, that's got to get something else back because they're going to have to pay something for him. Yeah. So let's talk about the SANFL team. Sorry, Ray. No, ah, no. but I we, went early. Yeah, we lost by 12. To legs. It should have been 12 goals. Oh. Yeah, that bad. 8-17, yeah. 
Mm. They so should 7 have been 11. 10 goals up at half time. Billy Frampton kicked three from a kick in straight to a Norwood player who had a set shot on goal. Like, not even a contested mark. It was an uncontested mark. I had to turn off because I couldn't <laughs> take it anymore. Unreal. That guy's a liability. And my Sean Craig Murphy training is going to come in here because I think a lock for the team is – I don't know. What am I doing with my hands? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with his hands. Uh, Tell who us, has bro. to come in is Ben Davis. I don't know why he's not Ooh. in already. I think – I have a theory that footballers play like their personality. Everyone knows Ned's annoying. Mm-hmm. Rob's slow and methodic. Jordan yeah, Dawson's no, very No, no, no. Rob's a med student. Yeah. He but thinks through things. He works in algorithms. Yeah, but yeah, he was know, too but slowly and too deeply. Yeah. He would have left yeah. a scalpel in someone. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he, he's clumsy. When it comes to the team timeout at the end of surgery, he's fucked off to the golf course. <laughs> that, <laughs> now that is a surgeon. <laughs> like we know Jordan Dawson's very consistent in his life because we need some of that creativity that – Ben Davis brings a bit of that risk, a bit of that, you know. Jordan Dawson looks like he should be playing a synthesizer. <laughs> yes. Like he's got a just keytar. He, yeah, keytar. Mm. Yeah. Just with a real, like a zoot suit, yep. you know, mm. and he's just banging and away. Billy Frampton should be playing a bad, like badly maintained bass in a pub rock band in Mildura somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Just playing yeah. acoustic covers of Wonderwall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any requests? <laughs> Wonderwall again? You got it, buddy. No, he's got a four string. Yes. But it's actually a five string. Yeah, he just can't. He just can't be fucked with the other because he broke the string once. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah, never yeah, replaced yeah, it. Like, yeah, he bought the guitar from string. cash converters two years ago. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to replace it now. It's still good. You know? <laughs> Look, genuine hardwood. Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Come okay, on, Jesus, move on. Jesus. All right. Now, uh, next up, we've got the AFL women's game, which is the trial game. So the round twenty two of the men's reflects into the AFL women's for all the trial games. So the Crows are playing the Roos at 10 a.m. on Saturday, the 13th of August at Nord Oval. 10 a.m. frothies. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> keen. Very keen. Keen as. Yep. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more from the AFL women's team coming very, very soon. Uh, uh, some exclusive stuff for us as well, Damon. And uh, hopefully we'll be able Working to... Working on it. We'll Working be on working it. on that Working one. on it. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep. Now... We need to talk about our Patreon as well. Patreon.com forward slash Crowject as well. We've got our amazing list of Patreons too, don't we, Damon? Yes. Yes, and it's on the next page. It is. And it's $10 and above. And thank you so much Fantastic. for everyone for their support. And also $2 a month or $5 a month. we got some uh, Crowject Cordies, don't we, Damon? Don't touch me. <laughs> Here it is. Stay away. Here it is. I'll... Get away. Now, Get away. I just got your joke as well, the basketball background. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. <laughs> oh. Look, that's my basketball background. <laughs> that is, that is I have a basketball background. That is stinky. That's that's funny. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but he shows it to me, and I thought it was just some generic background because knowing Damon the Boomer, he hasn't changed his background since like 2012. So he's just like it's been stuck on that. It's the, it's the one that you get when you get. Yeah, the phone. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Or it's it's just a display phone. So it's like a hologram. You know, you move it to the like, whole. Oh, wow, look at that. That Nokia E71 looks clear. Anyway, ten dollars and above. Tell us more, Damon. What am I talking uh, the, uh, Sign up for Patreon. You get some amazing shows like Benny mm. and the Bets. Yes. Uh, get your crow on. Uh, Leighton and I are working on a new episode coming soon. You also get, uh, when you sign up, you get yourself a lanyard. What do you get? A bottle opener? Do, you, do stubby we still holder. get a stubby holder? Uh, you get links to some amazing stuff. I've written another article and another draft review. Um, yeah. It, for two bucks a month, you get all this free content, which is, I mean, it's not free. It's two bucks a month. <laughs> it's cheap. <laughs> 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 but it's so cheap. You, you go, these guys are giving this away. So now we will be doing our end of year draft special as well. We'll be doing that one. We may be doing a Brownlow one as well. And uh, we may do a live recall, I reckon. Yeah. Let's do that December, January. Keen. Very keen. Have we got a game pick for that yet or? We do. If you have a game that you really want to see, is like check out the 97 grand final recall. That's probably the biggest thing that we've got on the Patreon. The, the thing that I'm most proud of I think that's sitting on Patreon at the moment yeah. uh, involving Sam Tugwell the great man um, yeah if you want to see more of that and you've got a specific game that you want us to call write in let us know Leighton's got it don't worry like, don't be thinking I bet they don't have a we've got access to the game Leighton would and have and we've it. got it in VHS and Betamax yeah <laughs> and Laserdisc so write in let us Laser know disc. we'll have it <laughs> 
Hang on, stop the call. I need to swap to the other side. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you know I've got a basketball background? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll get on with the list. <laughs> We've got Dave Carnavale, Jake Bokove, Ray O'Hara, hey. good man to my left, hey. Ben Piero, Sophie Damon, Drew Corner, Sam Curtis, Sean Davies, James Payne, Michael Bornheim, Shahin Marty. Good. good. Jezza Withers, Lachlan Dand, and well in. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. We love you guys so much. And we've also got some big news about our book, The Fabric of Our Club. It's available for delivery. Yay! Yay! So we're going to be picking that one up at the end of the week, and everyone that's pre-ordered that one should be getting that one by the end of next week. Exciting. I'll just come by and pick it up. From you. Yeah, I already marked yours. You don't, not for post. You don't have to mail it. <laughs> yeah. Did you write on the cover, like the actual cover? <laughs> <laughs> not for postage. <laughs> the, the not for postage for our club. If you haven't pre-ordered that yet, guys, get on it. It genuinely, like, we're not just saying that because we know the guy that wrote it, but. And it's only like hotcakes too. It, it, it's the sort of thing where if it was out and we didn't know the author, we'd definitely buy three or four. It looks amazing. Yep. They've put some really hard work into this. It's a really a, good hardcover as well. Yep. You love a good hardcover. And also forward by one Graham Studley Corn. How did he manage that? He asked him. Oh, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> Can you I've got, I've got Graham's number. And oh, hand it ah. to Layden. And Layden says, give me all your VHS. <laughs> 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 and uh, also, project.bigcartel.com is where you can get that one. But we'll be back right after these noises. All right, we're back. So we're going to go around the grounds with round 19, and this was a real doozy of a round, wasn't it? It was, it was something. It was right? something. Now, starting off, uh, James, we start off Friday night, Richmond versus Fremantle. It was the first draw. What a game. What mm. a game. What a game. What a game. It was a game. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, but... Richmond, what's going there on? It it's like it was building. It was building. Something was coming. Something was coming. Richmond, Richmond. <laughs> bloody hell. Don't we love to see them go through a bit of struggle? It, you know, the only thing that would have made this game better is if Jack Rewalt was the one that played on afterwards. Yes. Oh, as that, his, yes. that would have been fantastic. As his head hit his hands, Mr. Brightside started yes. playing in the background oh, yes. to try and give us a bit of like positive reinforcement about that song. Because yep. I can't listen to that song. No, I can't either. All the killers. No. No. Or watch anything about OJ. I haven't watched the. I haven't <laughs> <laughs> Let the juice flow. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> if cloaks don't glove don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> Holy crap! That's amazing. <sighs> Ben, ben, you can cry into your hat if you want. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Oh, woo, all right. Oh, sorry, Three, two, one. Yeah, sorry. We're okay. back in the room. Um, can I? I'll jump in here. Uh, drawers. I like them. Shut up, everyone else. Oh, so waiting is here. Who doesn't love a good draw? Who doesn't? Well, apparently, yeah. everyone on Twitter and Facebook. I mean, I would have loved to have seen Freo one by a point. That would have been. That would have been. That would have been magical. That would have been so sweet. That would have been absolutely magical. I but I, did Dimmer Hardwick was? I think it was him that came out and said, "No, we need to look at it." And it's rah, rah. Yeah, because there's such a blight of draws on our uh, game. No, so it's, a, it's a bloody pandemic of it draws. It was the first one since round 23 last oh, year. Too soon. Yeah. yeah. There, there too soon. Always seems to be one per year though. Yeah. Mm. We get and it's to the late in the year. Oh, we haven't had one. There it is. <laughs> Could you imagine an overtime in footy, though? Oh, that'd be. Uh, Are you good? I like, can imagine not it because really. it happened. <laughs> I can imagine it because it happened to Port Adelaide that time that oh, Shuey buried him. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Overtime. Well, that was brilliant. That was. Oh. Amazing. With a family full of Port supporters as well, watching that live. Oh, really? my. Yep. Look at you. It is very hard. And you've grown up a Crows fan and a Liverpool fan. Yep. You're not just a pretty face, mate. You've done well. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. God. <laughs> Misery like company, doesn't it? So. I tell you what, those celebrations were fantastic. Uh, so let's okay, let's talk about the way that some leagues get rid of draws. In the NFL, they still have a draw because they have 15 minutes. They basically play an extra quarter. Their overtime rule is so stupid. It's stupid. The NFL, yeah, they do C the win the toss, you, you win the game, basically. So basically, if you were to score on the opening drive, but it ha I think it has to be a touchdown, doesn't it? Yeah, it can't yeah, just be it has a feed through goal. Um, it has to be that. College football is the one that I love the most, which is basically... You get a right or reply? Yeah, right or reply. It's awesome. So it'll be the equivalent of us having set shots. Okay. Best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. Penalties. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if it was Pete and I, Jesus, God help us. 
With penalties. Two trick mm. shot masters. <laughs> yeah, that's it. God where, do you, where, do you, where do you kick the penalties from? 50? Wherever we felt. Mate, like. 150 out. 150 <laughs> out. We're going to colour from anywhere, mate. Park. Tops only. Yep. Um, Torps only. So <laughs> you got you got 2020, they have the super over or they just bowl at the stumps. Personally, I like that one. I like it purely yeah, because yeah, that's good. it's a fine. It's just mm. one thing you have just basically your most skilled players and it's equivalent to penalties. Mm. Mm. I like yeah. that. NHL's got a good one where they, they play three periods. They only play the fourth if it's drawn. But then both teams get a bonus point for taking it to an overtime game. Yeah, but they also do it in the NHL where – a player from each team after a certain amount of time goes off. They do so they too. play with yeah. less players oh. as it continues and it as it goes good. off. And both teams are gassed. Mm. Like they've been rotating heavily. I th- is there a cap on rotations in the overtime? No, I I'm not sure. I don't think they can get off like effectively enough because there's not yeah. enough people on the ice. To yeah. So, so let's, th- let's workshop that. I like that. Mm. So mm. if you would do that in the AFL, you could do it, say it's an extra – Five minutes. Yep. Spitballing. Mm. Uh, go and then two, every two periods of five, like ten minutes. Every in total. minute mm. there has to be a player come off. Yep. So then you end That's up having bad. thirteen by yep. the end of the period. That's not bad actually. Or like just that. or just start with five in each line. You get three off immediately. Are we talking about Brad Carrots again? Yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> just an excuse to bench oh. him. No, that <laughs> was a fact. Yeah, it's good. We'll leave that in. <laughs> it's, no, I like that. Yeah. I like that. It mm. works. Well, NRL do golden points, so first person to score. Yep. Oh, done. I'm not a f- the problem uh, with that. That would be so controversial. It is. Mm. It is. The, the problem with that too is that, like in you said in American football, it has to be a touchdown, whereas in in league, it's first point. Yeah. So you just need, and it's led to some memorable moments. Like uh, the Cowboys won the grand final on that a few years Don't ago. Talk to me about that game. Oh, <laughs> one of the best games of rugby league ever. But oh, until yeah. the other Wednesday night, I missed that. Oh. Anyway, we'll talk, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Yeah. Queensland, but duh. It, <laughs> can you imagine if we had last point to win the game in AFL, the first time someone wins with a point, it'd be, scrub the system, yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. Right, right. Wonder, who'd, wonder who'd say that first. Dimmer. Dimmer. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Had what to play did, did, And they scored a point. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if you do it that it's almost like, this sounds weird, but almost having like a half court thing where it's like basically half the field. You start off as if it's a free kick from the centre bounce. And you, then it's a goal or a point. And you just have to score within sixty seconds. I think. Does that make sense? So you know, like, the, like the old MLS penalties. That's it. Where they used to do one on one. Yeah, the keeper. yeah. But the goalkeeper can move off the yeah, line. Yeah, do one with the, the best defender and the best attacker. That'd so, be alright. And you have it six on six. Fuck a prison rule. Sharpen your sprigs, boys. <laughs> no mouth guards. Um, to strip it right back and just have a designated kicker in the in the center square your best forward and their best defender in the goal square. Mm. And if the forward takes the mark, the kick's worth nine points. Marks up to win the game. Marks up much. to win the game. Gee. So it's a super goal. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Penalties out. Silver ball who's and the everything. defender and who's the attacker you'd <laughs> put mean, in the Crows? Jeez, Jeez, I mean, for the Crows, it would be butts every time. Yeah, he's good. Who would the one forward one. be? It'd be Tex. Tex. It'd, be It'd tex. have to be Tex. Lockie yeah. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Ned McHenry. Yeah. You just get big burly defenders falling over. Oh, Ned. Time. Yeah. Oh, Rob would mark it, but we couldn't trust the game. Yeah. <laughs> he would mark it and then we'd all just go, well, oh, that's it. Oh, <laughs> That'd yeah. be a tactic oh, masterclass. Oh, there you go. He'd look to handle. <laughs> cramp, cramp, cramp. What the hell are the crows <laughs> doing putting Rob in here? <laughs> Did you say he'd handball yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, golden shit. point, golden point. That's all he has to do. Marks it, bang, over the top. Yeah, there you go. Up. And he volleyballs it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right into us uh, on your thoughts on that one. Now, we went down to Tasmania, didn't we, James? North Melbourne versus eat. Hawthorne. <laughs> uh, Gunston kicking five. And T Walker kicking three. Oh, no, wait, that's not <laughs> <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> I, I feel a bit stupid for this one because I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just had that feeling that North Melbourne were going to win, but nah. It was it was nah. Bloodstone. Yeah. That's what did it for you. Yeah. It went out it, the window pretty quickly, that it did. <laughs> he, uh, Hawthorne were eight goals to none at quarter time. I just had to, I just had to remember that it was North Melbourne. Yeah. Yep. That's all I had to remember. And I, then I realised how stupid of a tip it was. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite thing about these two teams playing in Tasmania is all the jokes about loser gets left there. I love I live for <laughs> that it. That is Frothel. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, they flew virgins, so there's a high chance. <laughs> high chance well. <laughs> They're playing to get cancelled. They still don't I have never, their bags. I never fly virgin. I like someone that's a bit more experienced yeah. than an airline to go with. <laughs> And set. <laughs> <laughs> that joke's gone over the head there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude, he said it. And I, see, the thing is, my boss made that exact same joke today. Uh. 
And I was just like, oh my God, it must be something about this building. <laughs> Damn it, Ray, that was brilliant. Do you know I've got a basketball background? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, <laughs> now, speaking of old jokes that go to die, Port Adelaide versus Geelong at Adelaide <laughs> Oval. And I'll tell you, Port Adelaide came back and then there was a part of me when they got to 94. I don't know why. I, I thought to myself, and I wanted to write in the patrons chat just saying, they're not going to kick anymore. And they were like attacking, attacking, attacking. Nick Minute, Geelong kick another two goals. Beautiful. Shout out to the hero of the Geelong supporter with 119 on the back of the game. <laughs> that was away. We're not brilliant. worthy. They're, we're they're not. here every time. They Get play him board. on the pod. I love it. Can Next I, time you're in town, on the pod. So that guy, someone put that on the I Hate Port Power mm. Facebook that page. That is a great Facebook what a page. It's a, great, it's a great page. But the guy actually was on there and said, oh, yeah, it's great. And then I put on there from the Crowjet podcast and just said, oh, we've also got this one too. Not to say that yours is crap. This is the one too. Oh, like advertising the garden stuff. Yeah, advertising yeah. the garden stuff, but also saying, you know, like, I, we, I, I hate Geelong with a passion. Yeah. I hate Geelong, but they brought me so much joy. We are kindred yeah. spirits, you yeah, and I. We, we are the only time you ever support Geelong is against Port, let's be real here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Can, I, can I just throw some numbers at you? Mm. Yes, sir. Nine plus four, so 94 to 106. Nine plus four plus 106. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> Well, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> you should have won the X Factor Award at Radio School, Ray, not me. Oh, I th- what did I get most improved? You did. Yeah. And you're still earning that title. Yeah. You get better with every joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. The version one felt pretty flat. <laughs> I was going to run with something like, you know, when a door's open, it's a jar, but when a jar's open, it's not a door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. All right. Quick, let's move on. <laughs> Time to go home. All right. Brisbane versus Gold Coast in the Pacific punch up or the Q clash or whatever we're calling it at the Gabba. And uh, Brisbane got up by 17 points. Good fight from Gold Coast there, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a good game until the world's most expensive merchandise seller, Rory Atkins, got involved <laughs> and got tackled at the top, top of the goal square. <laughs> And so gave away. salty. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Salty oh, Ray. He just... You're like Salty Sam. You are like, you are like a Salada cracker. <laughs> you are so dry and so salty, but I can't stop. I can't get enough of you. And he'll like live a nuclear fallout. Oh, as well. yeah. yeah. It'll be Cockroaches, me. lawn, Ray. He's just that fucking Rory Atkins. He probably set off that bomb. <laughs> he had... He had Brandon Ellis on the boundary line, completely open, and he went, you know what? I'm going to take on three tacklers. He's <laughs> like Rory Try. Atkins. Yeah. Watch me go. Earn my money. I played in the grand final. Yeah. Look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me run, mum. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, shit, it's not 2017 then, anymore. <laughs> game over. Run and run and run and run and run. Where's Josh Jenkins talking to? <laughs> uh, Western Bulldogs versus Melbourne. This was a ding-dong battle, mm. wasn't it, Benny Mac? Hey, it was, and the Bulldogs got up by 10 points. Mm. Which slightly surprising. I think yeah. Melbourne were in front by four goals or something early in the last, and Dogs just chipped away and got it done. Yeah, I was uh, listening to this one on ABC Radio, actually. And you and call me a boomer. <laughs> well, I was actually in my backyard trying to de cat pour my latest concrete. It's, it's a long story. Anyway, <laughs> and I heard, I can't, I don't know who it was on ABC Radio, says, Oh, oh, first 100 wins and have not quite, mate, not quite, not quite, mate. <laughs> Nick Minute and two yeah. goals to Western Bulldogs and they won. <laughs> Schoolyard rules now, is it? Yeah. Next goal wins, boys. <laughs> that yeah. game of the round for you guys? No. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hey. okay. No, no, no. No, Port lost at home. That was game of the round. Yeah, true. You can't really. <laughs> Jamar Hagen with five. I, that crept hey, up on me. I didn't realise yeah. that. Rising yeah. star nomination. It's right there. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, thanks, mate. Do okay. you want to see my he basketball He kicked the sealer as well. Sorry, go on. He kicked the sealer as well yeah, right. on the, off two steps from 50. Sounded good. But when... Uh, Glad we bid on him. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, well, when... Uh, before last this weekend just gone, I thought the Bulldogs stunk of a 2018 Crows. Yep. Mm, but this win might have just pulled him out of it yep. a little bit. I still reckon it's still there. Mm. A bit stinky. They, I, I think last year's grand final flattered them a little bit. So in a lot of ways, they are the 2017 74 Crows. 74 points flattered them. Jeez. It's <laughs> How much do you think they deserve to lose? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be clear. Let's, let's go. A bit of revisionist history, but they snuck out of Brisbane with that win. That's, mm-hmm. that's what right. I mean. I mean, Bailey's making it the ground. Yeah. Then they come to the Portress 
And Port just decide to not turn up yeah. for the first half. Yep. And then they go over to WA and then they just decide, oh, we're going to spend two weeks in quarantine. We'll just play for the first half and then Melbourne go 100 to 1 on them, literally. Mm-hmm. After mm-hmm. Caleb Daniel tackles Max Gorn. Naughty, we, naughty. One of, one of my best memories in footy, watching that. The smallest man alive tackling the largest man alive. Yeah. It's fantastic. With Battle for the ages. With nothing, his nothing like tackling with his helmet. Yeah. His little blue helmet. I think Melbourne are just about cooked for the year. So this was the argument that started everyone in the car mm. park. We're waiting for you, Pete. Is we're this all, the Bur- Burgess effect? All, <laughs> and he's leaving now. That's where it starts. Now we're all standing there and that was the claim that was dropped and it got a bit of a reaction. Well, I just think when I watch a Melbourne game at the moment, whenever something happens in the game, there's at least three Melbourne players with their arms out going, mm. oh, 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 why not? Petrarca, Oliver, they don't. It's like a Just Seinfeld episode. What they is the like- deal with this team <laughs> kicking goals? Exactly. I don't get it. <laughs> I just, they don't put in. Bailey Fritch is so confused. He keeps getting cooked for not passing to teammates and then he <laughs> passed to a teammate that wasn't open. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Do you reckon no. he's confused about his hair? That hair is confusing. That I don't is, know how is, it that doesn't move. That is unusual. Yeah. It's like, it's is it like, like Lego? <laughs> I reckon bro, put he, it on. He, yeah, he, do, he just changes it week to week as well. Oh no, I've got it on the wrong way. He does the <laughs> Ray Martin thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so everyone's been after Rory Lobb about his sudden change of hair. You're a peroxide man. What mm. did you? You got behind all Dolph Lundgren, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know what? Like I got it. So funny story. I got it done the first time. It went the the Rory Lobb blonde and. Yeah. Didn't long, mind it. As long as it wasn't the Rory Atkins blonde. That was- oh. <laughs> Can you do a handstand at the end of the pod? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, we're on Carrara Oval. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second time I went to get it done, the lady goes to me, oh, this hasn't gone well. And uh, oh. it went the, uh, the, the barrel shade oh, of purple. No. <laughs> like I was going to play bridge. Oh. So, I would, have, good. I would have just leaned into it. Yeah. yeah. I went to bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Got my bone density scan done. Got my seniors card. Did my bow screen. And went to dinner at 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> and then in bed by six. <laughs> Had a flutter on the pokies, wherever a flutter is. Oh, no, wait. It flutters in my heart. You know? so anyway. <laughs> What's your roast, love? What's your, oh, it's beef. Is it? Oh, it's beef. Yeah, it's beef. Oh, I wasn't looking forward mm. to that. Darling, it's beef. <laughs> it's beef. Beef for the roast. No, we're not going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you like the salad bar here. That's why we come. <laughs> it's two for one on a Wednesday as well. <laughs> Just shut up and deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beryl and Sis of the Week. <laughs> All right, next up, Carlton versus GWS at Marvel Stadium in a game. Oh, I didn't see this. I don't think anyone did. No, no, no. But it happened. Yeah. All right. A couple of Mark of the Year contenders here. Toby Green almost mm-hmm. touched the roof. That was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Probably get weeks for it. <laughs> 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 he really is a salad, isn't he? <laughs> Try and suck me. I love it. Next up, uh, uh, West Coast... Uh, not getting the biscuits against St Kilda. Who the hell are they? This Any a, surprises? There? It was a tight game, to be fair. St Kilda blew it away a little bit late, but mm. the Eagles were in it. Mm. And no, I, this wasn't the game of the round I was referring to. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. It's coming up. Oh. I've said this about West Coast a couple of times and gotten a few laughs about it. They, they still have the, the nucleus of a good team. Mm. They're still superstars in every line of that team. They're garbage and they're not playing great and they're surrounded by 17-year-olds from the Waffle, but they, they still have it in them to push a, to push a team. You talk about the 2018 Crows. Mm. There's your team right there. Yeah. You're not wrong. Ooh. You're not After wrong. they won the flag, it's just the opposite. Yeah. They won the flag, we didn't. Jesus. Mm. That's who, prophetic. Yeah. Who, who are we talking about? West Coast. West Coast. West Coast. Uh. They're on the same... Tailing. They're on, yeah. Even to the point of bringing in, selling the phone yep. to bring in Kelly. We, we brought in Bryce Gibbs, they brought in Kelly. Mm. Oh, this is a bit scary. We're on to something here. Are we? A bit in that. Illuminati confirmed. So, special got, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hang on. Do we do crystal meth? No. All right. <laughs> so, next up, uh, we've got Collingwood versus Essendon <laughs> at uh, the MCG. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Uh, 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 you know, when, when we start talking about the pies, I just turn into cream and I say something inflammatory. Um... <laughs> 
uh, there was a goal after the song, wasn't oh, there? What a goal after the song. Do you know, you honestly, the game of the ring. I haven't yeah, heard about anything one. about this. I haven't seen the footage. I if haven't Jamie, heard the calls. haven't seen I mean, even me here. and Ben wore matchy matchy yes. <laughs> just to celebrate. Hot pies. <laughs> yeah. two in the Hot pies. <laughs> if Jamie Elliott kicks that goal five minutes into the first quarter, we're going, geez, that was a good goal from Elliott. Mm. Mm. That's a tough kick. But to do it after the siren to win the game. And yep. to That's the, class. The siren yeah. goes as he's running in as well. Like, yeah. Oh. That would be me. I mean, I've got this image of my in my head of me playing footy and it's that that Jordan Dawson after the siren and then calm as a coma. I'd be more like that time Motlop did it against St Kilda. Yeah, where he winces. He winces, <laughs> the siren goes, he goes, oh, not me. <laughs> and then he like takes the worst run up you've ever seen. Mate, he goes at right angles off his boot. I would have gone one further. I would have tied Zantucked that one. Have you, have you the worst kick for goal ever? Is that Essen- Richmond? Yeah, Essendon yeah, or he- Richmond versus Port Adelaide at a, at a Footy Park. He just he's kicking it from the boundary, basically where the crows used to run out that yep. that outer area. Yep. He just shanks it completely to the left, like Love just it. shits the bed. Yep, that would be me. Puts it into the Matani chicken sign. Oh, he went further than that. <laughs> he, he, he went above. He I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even make the distance. <laughs> 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 it land like not even at the top of the goal square. They'd just be like, "Oh, yeah, that's right. yeah. Rob would have got it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Rob could have probably kicked it better than me. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, the footage of that last little bit of this game is pretty damning on Essendon and their leaders. Mm, and yeah. Yeah. They had a shot on goal with about uh, what did they have? A minute, forty. Yeah, minute yeah. to go. Hit the post, and all of their leaders, McGrath, uh, um, Heppel. Yeah, Heppel, mm. these guys came in to celebrate, left their players on the outside, oh. and Collingwood streamed yeah. to the other oh. end of the field the, the members in 20 wing, there seconds. Were, there were three people on the members' wing and two of them were Collingwood players. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's bad. And it prompted uh, David King to say, what did he say? Their leaders at Essendon could not run a bath. <laughs> that's a fair that's, whack. That's a great call, but <laughs> wow. I mean, it's it's hard, isn't it? Because you, <laughs> Not really. You just turn the tap on. Yeah. <laughs> He <laughs> used to be so nice at radio yeah. school. What happened to you? He's the most um, improved. <laughs> <laughs> On paper, yeah. that's an excellent result for Essendon, who's been struggling this year. 100%. Then you hear stories like that and you go, actually, does it reveal more about them than some of their losses? Well, they, what were they down? 37 points. Yeah, they were down. Then they dominated the middle two quarters and then pooped it. it. Yeah. yeah. Need those uh, never celebrate too early compilations. Yeah. 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 Chuck yeah. that in there. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but that what, was perfectly timed. That was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. What I wanted to say about Collingwood, though, is I'm not convinced by them. No, me not neither. Not at all. No, no me neither. <clears throat> I was having a look at their uh, nine-game win streak and their, you know, winning for the whole year. The bottom six teams, mm. they've won five out of six. Obviously, they lost to West Coast. Yeah. They've beaten the bottom f- five by a combined total of 31 points. Mm. Yeah. So that's us, yeah. Essendon, North, GWS, and Hawthorne. We, are we sort of drinking the bathwater a bit on American? I'd, going to be, yeah, are they shit. running the bath, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult. It's very hard to do. Second and third quarter yesterday, they look shit. Yep. Against us for two and a half quarters, they look shit. Mm. I'm, I'm not convinced, and somehow they're sitting fourth. Straight sets, I reckon, finals. What do yeah, you reckon? Straight, straight sets. I think so. I think so. Yeah. You'll just get the experience as well. They got a pretty rough draw for the next four, I reckon. They, they play Melbourne. Um, That's gettable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the way Melbourne are going, it might be. Yeah. But Depends on who shows up. It, uh, do they make the four? Because they're in there now. I think this I year I hope is... It's, I hope it's fifth, Collingwood versus eighth, Port Adelaide. <laughs> oh, they, oh, Port Adelaide. Oh, yeah. No, because that means Port made finals. No, but that means that the showdown is the play-in game. And we're just like, you know uh, what? Be our guest. Be our guest. You know, it's... it's you I think know, this season... Bit, bit of beauty in I the beast. Be, I think we'd be pretty lucky if we even came close in that last game, I reckon. But that's what he's saying. We're just like, would yeah. you like to kick a goal, Port Adelaide? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go Please, for it. go for it. Yeah. yeah. Look, go on, no, Charlie Dixon. I'll, go I'll, on. Do <laughs> yeah. if you can. Oh, Darcy, Charlie Dixon had someone three goals, five. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy Fogarty shepherding Ollie Wines sort of stuff. Like, just... <laughs> you know, go the, for it, mate. you got to pat it. Go. Yeah. Get Nadie McHenry to do that. <laughs> Rob. Win a final at B Square. <laughs> the big Rob shepherding no one in the middle of the ground. <laughs> <That's laughs> what a man. I st- we still haven't isolated that footage and turned it into a gif. Oh, we need it. But So Collingwood's run home. They've got Port this week at home, oh. Melbourne, Sydney at the SCG, Ooh. and then Carlton to finish oh, up. That's oh. tough. Yeah. That's tough. 
I think this year is the perfect opportunity for a wild card week in between that oh, week. Yes. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Seventh versus tenth, eighth versus ninth. Yep. Winner keeps going. Yep. You got footy on that middle week. Yep. The top six get a week off. So uh, who, who are we talking in the mix for that? You got like Port, St Kilda. Well, you got St Kilda, Bulldogs, Richmond, Gold Coast, St Kilda. Mm. Any mm. of them on their day could oh, put up a really good yeah. game too. We yeah. need wild card. I oh, would love it. Definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. this is the perfect year. We've got every team up to a ninth or tenth, almost on the same amount of wins. Mm. Mm. It'd be perfect. So how would it work? Would you take the the bottom three of the eight and the top three out of the eight to play? Or no, no. no. So, you, you'd d- so that in between week, that's the bye week. Yep. Now you'd have seventh play tenth. Yep. Eighth play ninth. Yep. Mm. And then the winners get those spots. Ooh. Oh, I love it. It's like what the just, NBA do now. Yeah. 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 So yeah, just that winner take bubble. all. Yeah. If you, you keep going in the final. If you're 10th and you beat 7th, you leapfrog another team mm. yeah. into the – It'd be based off a differential, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, what do, I like that. Yeah. What do we think about Collingwood dropping all their the games, the rest of their games? Just dropping them. Just I reckon they could lose all of them. Yeah, but then they'd yeah. lose momentum. And Wouldn't that be great? AFL is a momentum sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard As that. Cream yeah. told saying that, mm. if any team's going to do it, it'd yeah, be Collingwood. I'd almost rather see them make it all the way through – even get a chance, like a f- home final, and then just bomb out and straight, 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 straight. Win all the games for the rest of the year. Yeah, bang, they're out. I would actually yep. rather see that just to watch the complete media meltdown that would come of it. And you know, Tim Ginnivan just duck for a few more free kicks and watch. It. Mm. Hasn't there been a Tim Ginnivan? Oh, Jack Ginnivan. Jack Ginnivan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the one. That oh, one. Right. Boomer jokes. <laughs> Bring it on. Come on. I've got a basketball background. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, Is he the only one here with an Android? <laughs> I reckon uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was definitely uh, a free kick. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think one every team should have one player that you're allowed to. Like just, just Ginnivan, <laughs> just built. Sicily. <laughs> Who's would have it? It'd be Ned, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would have, yeah, yeah, have to be Ned. Ned. <laughs> Who's the team gimp? <laughs> 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 just come on. <laughs> oh, it's a bad day to wear leather. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you flagging that? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> all right. Now, next up, we got Beryl and Cecil of the week, Benny Mac. Thank you. And my voice seems to be going as we go along here. I'm okay. not sure what's happening. We'll, we'll get through as we can. Um, Lachlan Brown on Adelaide Crows Pride, the forum, says, ja- oh. get James Rahili in as Crows coach next year. Who? Oh, well, our forward line coach <laughs> currently. So I don't know why we need to get him in. Um, he goes on to say he's a Sorry, really is this bloke from the past? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I, can I what? just say, you get some absolutely brilliant comments on that page. Oh, yeah. That's I, where I, I found all the content from the Try, try, comments. try, try admitting it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you'd say it's like gold mining. Is there it's even an like admin? Gold purchasing at this point. It's theft. Yeah. So <laughs> almost looking at this post, I reckon I might be, might have jumped back to 2008. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. He goes on to say he's a really good assistant coach at Geelong under Bomber Thompson and then Chris Scott. He made 13 final series in 14 years as an assistant Jeez. coach. He is our assistant coach right yeah, now. That, all those reasons <laughs> you just gave, that's why we hired him. Exactly. I don't think mm. Bomber Thompson's a guy to learn off of either. With no. the frozen water business. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Factually. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he did say that. Don't have to flag that. Mm-mm. Just saying. Mm. So next up, we've got Jacob on Adelaide Crows Pride the Forum. Hey, oh, hey, another one. Um, we're rebuilding in quotation marks. I don't know how many times I've heard that excuse, but enough is enough. I'm not sure how much our beloved. I'm not sure how our beloved coach will respond after that embarrassment. I hate Jeez. when people use quotation marks in the wrong spot. We are rebuilding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If we're not rebuilding, then what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sack Nicks. What are we doing? <laughs> Yeah, let's sack Nick's. Get yeah. get a new coach in. Bang, there's a premiership right there. Yeah, that'll right. solve everything. Missing Why have piece we not done it yet? I was out to oh. dinner on Saturday night. The lady next to me just said, "Oh," and then he did it again. And I'm like, <laughs> "Well, if he did it again, I wanted to jump into her conversation, but <laughs> <laughs> she just she just pulled out a jewelry box. Right, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. She pulled out a jewelry box and she goes, "Oh, you never guess what I found at my house," and pulled out a switchblade. <laughs> What? what is what is happening where right you, where are you eating dinner Hyde Park I was going to say if this is like Salisbury RSL like, no, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Fair. it's fair but yeah I was, was in she, Hyde Park was she mad that the carvery was beef or yeah I was going <laughs> to be <laughs> you call that a cut <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Bill. Barrels and Cecils. <laughs> That's all right. We go on to Craig who <laughs> says, biggest train wreck of the year, question mark. Fuck, that was horrible. 
<laughs> what game was he watching? Has everyone forgot about 2020? Yeah. I think he was actually watching the movie Trainwreck. <laughs> Good what about the, the people he's... <laughs> Who? Fuck that! Never a seen a <laughs> <laughs> can, can we just say this real quick? What about the people saying this is our worst ever season? Oh, Short it's not. Memories. Last year, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty was the one was of the worst, worst seasons Does any teams remember ever 2011? had. Twenty eleven. Oh, no, no, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> was that? We played a Friday night game against St Kilda and we yes. got transferred like 125 points. And Neil Craig so, resigned. Yeah, he resigned <laughs> at 4am. Yeah. 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 The, the, the full support that. of the board. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they right. just look at the ladder position and think, oh, yeah, we're terrible. Tell me we, there's not at least some improvement. In this I, I, before, we were talking about this earlier and I went through the uh, results. We've lost five games this year by less than a goal. Mm. Two good teams as well. Yeah. Fremantle. Yep. Collingwood. Collingwood. That Fremantle game, because it was round one, no one really knew yeah, how that stacked up exactly, either. Exactly. So You're looking at it now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're much and better than we thought they would be. A clever spoil away from a draw, if not a win. Yep. Like, imagine if you win those games, right? Mm. Mm. That's that's what I mean. Ex- yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't put us in finals, but it puts us where we probably belong on the ladder yeah. based on form. Mate, but this it, way. If Ben Keys kicked that goal, do you know how many Crombinis we would have sold? <sighs> More than we did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we bought, we've got crombinis that need to be sold. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about me. Lastly. <laughs> and Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> no, that's all good. We've got Robin. The oh, club, this already stands bad. The club <laughs> needs to complain about the umpiring of that match. Oh, oh no. I don't usually complain about umpiring because it's got to be the hardest game to officiate in yes, the world. Is. We're expecting them to be part-time elite athletes, make split-second decisions under fatigue yep. from an angle that you might lose every yeah. bit of view on the contest. Yep. And they're working exactly. from a rule book which is written on an etch sketch oh, I know. And, and constantly then, changes. <laughs> yeah, and when they're like, oh, that rule isn't really working, yep. let's not scrap it, let's just make another Tweak rule. Let's, let's yeah. say this, right? <laughs> People like that, you do better. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Go out no, there. No, no, seriously, we need umpires. Yeah. yeah. Come go, and do Go it. do yeah. better. Go yep. do better. I'd love to see them try do better. Yep. No. It, like that's this is their part time job. They're under yeah. constant medium scrutiny. Yep. Like what have you full been time for years? Like since day one of the project, they need to be made full time. Yeah. Full time on hundred percent. It's even the money. It's the most obvious move you can make. And then we need to rewrite the rule book and go back to mid naughties rules. Honestly. Although I think that goal umpire in the Port Geelong game who said that. Dangerfield's kick oh, yeah. was absolutely touched yep. and didn't even review it. <laughs> yep. mm. yeah, well, Someone's an Alberton fan, I think. <laughs> Shh. And then we need to do, Secret safe Then we need to do better than a, a Nokia 3210 camera. Oh, I know. Hanging off a goalpost with oh, that. Yeah. We don't need the people doing the roof walk <laughs> taking <laughs> phone footage of like the goal review. It was a courtroom sketch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hans from Norway up on level five reckons that it was touched. Just <laughs> oh, did anyone record that little bit there? Yeah, can you bring it over here? Yeah, it's all right. I hop the guardrail. Let's hey, have a look. Hey, do you have Bluetooth? <laughs> the easiest way. Yeah. <laughs> God. There shouldn't be a guy doing this in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got Facebook? Send me on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Add me on Facebook. <laughs> I, can't, I can't zoom, mate. Hang on, guys. <laughs> and uh, Beryl and Cecil was brought to you by Liquorland. To get the best deals on alcohol, visit liquorland.com.au. Now, do we have a tipping update, Benny Mac? We certainly do. And oh, Matt boy. O'Brien is holding Dylan at bay. Yeah. <laughs> Cream will be happy. He is. So he leads by one tip at the moment. Uh, Tom S in at 111. Total Tommy Schultz. Third. Yeah. Um, Dan with 110 at four. So that you probably have four people who can still win it at this stage. Ooh. Um, to win some cold, hard cash. Absolutely. Uh, race to the bottom. Leighton is 10. <laughs> Ahead of Lockie at the moment, 51. Did you just use air quotes? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that was the right, that was the right he, use. He's yeah. winning the race to the bottom, but he's he doesn't have a switchblade on him. Though. It's all right. Um, In Damon, a jewelry box? What? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, Damon is sitting third bottom with 62 tips. Oh, good work. Pete no, no, just above even him. better. I haven't put a tip in all year in this competition. Uh, I think that uh, seems so to be a common theme between a lot of the uh, the bottom ten here because yep. all of them got four except for Leighton who got three. So we can see that someone's <laughs> taking it still serious. going for it. <laughs> He's a whole round and a half ahead. He did. He's lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you sit two ahead of Damon with 64. Elodie uh, has got 80 tips. She's just way ahead. 
Um, and I missed the memo about race to the bottom because I'm sitting fifth with 108 tips. All right. <laughs> so you're going to finish in like the worst. You can't celebrate fifth. No, you and can't. you can't laugh at fifth. It's just oh, thanks for coming. Obscurity. You get a pre- you get a, a participation medal for fifth. I'll take it. Or the certificate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a little stamp on it. Can I have one of each? What? <laughs> the little scrap, the scratch and sniff stickers on them saying, yes. "Oh, they're well lovely. done." Look at that cola flavored sticker. <laughs> Never smell like strawberries. Whatever that sticker was. <laughs> Now it's let's, very one. let's go around the grounds for round 20. Uh, here we go. Where the hell is I love, I love listening Where to podcasts up? and hearing people yeah. over. Oh, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Reflex. Uh, first up, Melbourne versus Fremantle at Ooh. Optus Stadium on a Friday night, starting nice and early as well because, you know, everyone hates Perth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, I'll be in town for that. I'm going to Perth. This Friday? Mm. Maybe I won't go. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Benny Mac, who you got for this one? I like the Dockers for this one, to be perfectly honest. Mm. Uh, I found out it's the first time that Melbourne have played Fremantle Adopter Stadium this week coming. So uh, Really? Really? Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Mm. yeah, the last five games have been either at TIO, MCG, yeah, yeah. Wow. or up in Darwin. So Okay. Yeah, right. Mm. James, who you got in this one, mate? That's tough. Just I'm going to stick with my guns, I reckon, Melbourne. Okay. I didn't I'm going to go Melbourne. Were, didn't know they were your guns. Okay. Ray in the switchblade <laughs> corner. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon Melbourne, yeah. yeah. Dang. I'll go Frio only because it's a home game. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I'm going to go Frio as well. It's a real 50-50 one. It right? is, yeah. Mm. That's tough. Mm, yeah. It would, but it also wouldn't surprise me if it's a blowout either way. Yeah. It, it could be under a goal, could be 100 points, it could be... I don't know <laughs> what to expect. Will I think, I think something big is going to happen. It's going to be a game. draw now. <laughs> <laughs> I think if any team's, team's going to win by more, like blowout, it'll be Melbourne. I reckon sure. they have the capability mm. to They've got yeah. the professional blow them out the park. Yeah. Coming back to Optus Stadium, reliving yeah. the good times. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Collingwood versus Port Adelaide at the MCG. Increase your excess on your house, I reckon, after this one. <laughs> I like Port, to be perfectly honest. Do Coll- you? Collingwood. Can we snip bit. that? Yeah. Just run <laughs> that. Oh, no, no, not in those exact words, actually. I think Jack Port- Hudson's <laughs> listening. <laughs> <laughs> I think Port will win this match. Right. Okay. James. I think Port Adelaide will win this match too. <laughs> I reckon they should just lock the gates at the MCG, hold them all in there forever. Fumigate it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep. Fumigate it. <laughs> <laughs> but I reckon Collingwood. <laughs> You've all got scabies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, David. I think Port have one last chance to keep Ken Hinckley at that football club. Come on. Long-term. Come on, Port. <laughs> Stuart, clip that. I don't care. They, they win this and Hinckley survives. I said that after the Geelong game it was going to be Hinkley's last game. Last you did, I did, and I, I was I was dead set yeah, on that. Yeah. Halfway through the second quarter, when they're down by about forty points, it was yeah. looking alright. To be fair, <laughs> Peter sharpening his switchblade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready at a Hyde Park restaurant. Yeah. I didn't see the game, but was there a lot of cuts to the Port Adelaide coaches box on TV? I didn't watch uh, it either. Yeah, no, I was it was threatened for my life by an old lady <laughs> with a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> And then I went. What'd you say about recovery? <laughs> <laughs> so in, I know, I know for a fact, and I know a few media people in other leagues who have said that if a coach is on the hot seat, they, the club or the team, will go up and say, "Please don't cut to the bench." Really? Mm. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, so right. I've got a friend of mine um, who did a bit of college media stuff, mm. and there was a college football coach who was big on the hot seat and was losing a game and they actually went up to the ESPN booth and said, do not cut to the bench yeah, again. Right. Wow. At all. Mm, really? Yeah, but right. the reason being was that the coach wasn't talking to any of the players, was actively – like, it was oh, okay. a bad yeah, – So bad he, knew, he knew it was coming. He knew. Yeah, he knew. Then, he's coming off the field. I'm going to get paid 10 million bucks to walk out of here. The ESPN people said, we pay your league millions of dollars. We'll do whatever the We'll do whatever we want. Here's the yeah. coach. Yeah. Yeah. But this yeah. this was a legit – like, this was a genuine, like – Real bad. Yeah, was, oh, that's bad. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, which game was that again? Oh, we got – Sydney, G- G- Sydney versus GWS coming out. Ben. Sydney will seal their final spot with a win in this game, I think. Okay, James. Sydney by heaps, I reckon. Yep. It's going to be a blowout. Yep. Another made-up rivalry, Sydney. <laughs> that <one's like> <laughs> <pretty> <laughs> weird. They don't even like each other. <laughs> yeah, no, Sydney. Yep, I'm going to go Sydney as well. St Kilda versus Hawthorne at Marvel Stadium oh, Sunday oh, afternoon. Who? You know, yes. d- you know, Dwayne. Dwayne is copping this one. <laughs> <laughs> what about Kelly? Kelly will be on this game. Can they just make it completely unwatchable? Yep. 
it, it already is. Yeah, you're just, you're just adding to the top of the birthday cake yeah. by this point. Yeah, no, this is this is like getting. I just put the I just put the TV on mute. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, I just turn the TV off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might go. Power's expensive, mate. We're not wasting all that. Ben, who you got? Um, I've got St Kilda to potentially put themselves into the eight or just around the uh, border, Ooh. depending on other results. Going to go St Kilda as well. I reckon they. It'll be close though. Mm-hmm. It'll be close. Mm-hmm. This one stinks of a mess in St Kilda's pants, so I'm going Hawthorne. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I love that, but no, St Kilda. Mm. I'm going to go Hawthorne. Ooh. Next up, we've got Geelong versus Western Bulldogs in uh, Geelong. Uh, ben, who you got? Geelong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we all say uh, all Geelong? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I got to I reckon that uh, Western Bulldogs will kick more more balls out on the floor than they will goals. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone get the counter up. <laughs> yeah. Gold Coast versus West Coast at Metricon Stadium. Uh, ben, who you got? Just another crap game. Yeah. Uh, Gold Coast to Keep themselves mathematically possible for the finals. Mm-hmm. And we'll hear it all day. I'm going to go on upset. I'm going to go West Coast. Ooh. Yeah, right. Okay. I reckon they might just get the job done. Ooh. Yeah, Gold Coast for me. Ooh. Another made-up rivalry just because they're both <laughs> coasts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> both coasts. I don't know. No. Uh, Gold Coast by a lot. Sorry. By a lot. Yeah. Wow. We- mm. West Coast have... Proven within recent memory that they do not like being made to play at the Gold Coast. Yeah. Um, and they won't travel well for this one, I think. Because they were stuck there for a year, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, friends and family. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mark McGowan. With how Mark <laughs> McGowan. <laughs> With how this season's going, no, anything's possible. True. Very, very true. All right. Uh, next up, we've got Richmond versus Brisbane at the MCG. I reckon let's. We need to pick the over under for the crowd. Ooh, oh, okay. Richmond fans are off, I feel. Yeah. yeah. I reckon mm. this is going to be 20,000. Mm. Oh, Sunday at 320. Exactly. So yeah. 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 Slightly over 20, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon Just closer to 30. Yeah. But that's yeah, still yeah. a half full MCG. Yeah. Just less than. Over. Got enough Fitzroy fans over there to hopefully build something up. Yeah. yeah that's and jumping ahead, too, like the, the 20 to 5 game isn't exactly a humdinger. <laughs> so it's not really going to keep people away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 30,000. Okay. 30,000. Mm. All right. Benny Mac, who's going to win? I'm going with Brisbane, who are very really nice value, which we'll discuss in Benny and the Bets in Ooh. just a moment. Brizzy. I don't trust Brizzy in Melbourne, so I'm going to go Richmond. Oh. Uh, Brisbane. I'm going to go Richmond. Ooh. Essendon versus North Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. Just a craptastic round. Surely we yeah. can skip this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd have to be Essendon. Yeah. Bombers. Everybody yeah, bombers. bombers. Surely. Yeah. yeah. Surely. All right. Next. It'd be so Essendon though if they went lost. It really game. would be though. Yeah. It'd Next. be hilarious. Actually, no, it'd be more North Melbourne to drag themselves somehow off the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know if they can mathematically, but. Yeah, they're on be... eight points yeah. with the West Coast. Tied with West Coast, yeah. So imagine yeah West Coast point, wins yeah. as well. No, <laughs> 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 Next up, we got Benny and the Bets. Benny. Benny. I love this. Benny. Look at the Benny pride on your bets. face right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was some of the uh, the best musical, you know, best song you've ever heard, really. Um, <laughs> so I've got a few, a few games with value that I like this week, and we went very close last week. If Isaac Rankin didn't kick a goal with one second to go, Brisbane, uh, Brisbane would have hit their line and I would have hit a lovely little bit, but it wasn't to be, so uh, we go again. Um, Fremantle were paying $1.98 to beat Melbourne on Friday night in Perth, as we've discussed. First game that Melbourne have played at Frio at Optus Stadium. Mm-hmm. Give them a chance, two mm-hmm. bucks. I don't mind that at all. The Crows to get within 13 points of Carlton. A dollar ninety line, mm, dangerous. Like it's, it's living on the edge a bit, but we tend to play well at home against these bigger teams. As mm. long as Carlton don't kick a few goals late, we should be all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brisbane, as I mentioned a moment ago, are paying two dollars and four to beat Richmond on Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Remembering Brisbane are sitting in the top four and Richmond are out of the top eight at the moment, and mm-hmm. Brisbane will be looking to uh, secure a home qualifying final. Mm-hmm. You're playing dangerously this week, man. I am, and mm. last is the most dangerous of all. I've uh, gone Port at $2.26 to beat Collingwood. Oh. And it brings me no pride to put them in there, so Jack Hudson, don't even bring it up. I was going to say, no one's happy with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I can't cheer for a week. I might even take them out, to be honest, but uh, those four <laughs> together multi will get you 17 bucks, and it's uh, not a bad little flutter. There you go. Good value. Good go. 
Now, next up, we've got our game, Crows versus the Blues, Saturday night at Adelaide Oval. <sighs> can, we, can we skip this one? Prime time. I think we'll get them. Yeah? I actually do think it, like, it's, it's so such cu- a Carlton thing to do. Yeah. Okay. We're up for the top teams, not so much for the bottom teams. We've proven we can do it. Fuck, yeah. Ray's firing me up. I like yes. this. <laughs> Sam get Barry a shit will- the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Barry, Barry will tackle everything. Just yep. maybe even get Michael Voss in the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Claw the crow gets taken out. <laughs> He's into the stance. Tranquilize him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lava on the loose. Oh, Sam, no. no, put the spectator down. <laughs> 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 Sam Berry calls us five hip replacements, <laughs> gets into the Western stand. <laughs> gets he up goes, to the coach's box and he says, get back out of the field, mate. <laughs> he goes full King Kong. He starts climbing up to the roof wall. <laughs> <laughs> Through hands-on experience for those That's doing it. the roof climb at that time. That's it. Five, five single-engine <laughs> Cessnas leave from Parafield Airport start to lapse around him. <laughs> What's this for King Kong? He's, what are they doing? Touch and goes with like training Australia, just going around and around and around. We're hoping to poison him with lead. <laughs> Virgin had to cancel their flight. <laughs> the airways polluted at the moment. We can't go through. People at the airport are oh, for fuck. <laughs> this is my fourth rescheduled flight. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, this flight's been cancelled because of Sam Berry. Oh, <laughs> Barry. Who is Sam Barry? I hear he's a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> Benny Mac, who wins and how much? And leading goal kicker for the Crom. Look, pump it up. Crows to win by 18 points. Yeah. And I want an over-under for Jade and Elody at about how many beers they will consume on Saturday night. And will the walk and talk go ahead with them there or will they not make it out of the open? So I won't, be, I won't be there for this game, but, Ben, if you want to do the walk and talk, please do. If I am of uh, sound mind yeah, at that's the not end happening. of the game, I will uh, <laughs> attempt to crack out the walk and talk and I'm sure Jade and Elody will give us pure content. That won't be the or walk and talk. <laughs> go the D. Five dollars, get out of here. <laughs> All right, uh, leading goal kicker. Tex. Tex. Five. How many goals? Five. Five. Ooh. 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 Sexy Tex, he's coming back. James. <sighs> going to go the crumb as well. Yeah. I reckon they're going to get up. By? I reckon 24. 24. Okay. It's Maybe. such a Carlton thing. This is such a Carlton boss right here. I can just mm. see it happening. And leading goal kicker. Tex with six. Ooh. Oh, my God. God, this is the side of the table that knows what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> or I, you know what? I agree. <laughs> okay, or then. it's the side of the table that's going to be very embarrassed come Sunday. Okay, Ray, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Now, probably. Now, probably. I need you to tell me who wins and how much and leading goal kicker. Crom, 30 points, five goal win, and leading goal kicker, Silthorpe. Oh. With four. Done. I like mm. that. Now Damon puts a needle in the balloon and says, Carlton win. Count by 110. Do you know what? Rob to kick seven. No, I've just looked at the ladder oh. and I've looked at the schedule and oh. I've done some quick math. So oh. Sydney, who play before this game on 48 points, tied with Carlton also on 48 points. Sydney win. Carlton already can't move up or down. The, the, their ladder position is locked in at seventh. If Sydney win... Carlton can't do anything with their ladder position. That is exactly the sort of game that they would just drop. I think he might be onto it. I, I think I'm going crumb. Turn it up, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit lost in that co- that, that explanation of it. <laughs> let me let me take you back. All right, we'll go <laughs> back. Damon, 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 you took while. the What's scenic the route. But yeah. We got there. Okay. <laughs> All right. We good? Because yeah. the yeah, thing we... is, Sydney play before this game. So if they don't. So time. Win. Yeah, uh, backwards. Which, by the way, is relative. Um, yeah. This brings you back to the preseason predictions when we were talking about whether West Coast and Fremantle would be able to lead oh, the I don't even, Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was some of my best work. Um, <laughs> and Fog- Fogarty to kick three. By the way, ooh, All right. Fuck it, I'm going to go Crows by fifty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leads are off, baby. Yeah. Oh, that was a risky. Oh, Jeez, no. <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh, f- 
You know what, Murphy to kick seven. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming out game, ladies and gentlemen. I thought you were going to say Barry. Nah. Yeah. So uh, thank you to our sponsors, Pay Me to Say, Trojan Aluminium, and Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini. This has been the Crojack for another episode. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you, Damon. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Thank you very much. And thank you, Ben. Thank you. My name's Peter. Go Crom. Yeah, go Crom. Go, go, go the Crom. Go Crom. Go crom. Go crom. Go crom.